Yo, what is going on, everyone? Guiding Light here, back with another quick DMZ guide. And in this one, I will show you guys how it is you can get 200K within a single backpack. Now, this mission is a little bit difficult. It took about 45 minutes to complete. Now, I ran in this mission actually a second time, and we got it done in just under 15 minutes. So after doing it twice, I think I can give you guys some tips to get this one done very, very quickly. Now, I highly suggest having three players for this mission and i will explain why in just a second but you will really really want to have about three players to get this one done now if you guys are struggling to find teammates that are you know actually decent or that are really actually trying to do the missions and work together you can try to join my discord server i will leave a link to that down below in the description and i'll also try to put it in the comment section as well so it's very easy to just simply join the discord try to find some teammates and then you guys can try to get these missions done because doing them solo is abs is an absolute nightmare so let's get back to how to get this challenge done the 200k very very quickly so what you will want to do is grab yourself a vehicle as fast as you can once you get in the lobby now from here what you will want to do is simply clear out one of the destroy bomb missions now once you do complete this mission it will reveal the location of a bunch of different safes around the map so from here what you can do is actually begin to clear out all of these safes I believe the safes will net you anywhere between like 15 and 30K each time you clear them out. Now, the reason why you wanna have three players for this is because when you do complete this bomb mission, it will pay about 7,500, I believe, but it will not pay it just to you. It will actually pay 7,500 to each player. So that actually gets you like 20K per mission. So once you guys have done this bomber mission, you want to work your way over to the safes, clear out as many safes as you guys can, as fast as you can and you guys should have about 120 to 140 K after doing this. Now, after you have cleared out the safes, what you will want to do is actually try to run these nuclear radiation missions. Now these nuclear radiation missions are very, very short. They pay about 3,500 per player. So you're going to get about 10 or 11 K once you complete the mission. And also once you open up the radioactive caches, there should be a nuclear rod inside or actually two of them inside. And those will net you 10K each. So you can actually get about 30K per nuclear mission. So if you do the bomber mission and the safes, then you'll work your way over to the nuclear missions to get those nuclear rods. You should be good to go. Now, if you guys are having trouble keeping track of your money or how much money you have on you, just simply open up your inventory and look at the icon next to the backpack. It will tell you exactly how much money you have on you with your weapons included. So if you guys have a medium backpack, I highly suggest trying to get yourselves a medium backpack because this will allow you to hold the cash and the nuclear rods. Now, in order to make this challenge easier, what you will want to do is pick up any valuable items along the way. So I'd say anything worth more than like $800 to $1,000, you're probably going to want to pick that up so that you can sell it at the store just to make the challenge go by even faster because you will stumble across certain things like sensitive documents or maybe encrypted hard drives, which are worth about 8,000 each. On top of that, if you stack up enough watches or hard drives, you can easily get a couple grand out of that. So as you are working your way throughout the map, I wouldn't go out of your way to loot stuff, but if you happen to stumble across a few caches that have good loot in them, pick it up so that you can actually uh, keep that money on you. Now, keep in mind, guys, the challenge does say to extract with 200K in cash or items. It does not have to be all cash. However, it will need to all be on the same player. Now, so long as you guys all have the mission selected, once you extract, uh, if so long as one player has the $200,000 worth on them, it will complete for all three players. So you do not have to worry about running to the store at the last minute and trying to sell all the items off as the items value will track even if you extract. So that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Just simply extract 200,000 worth of items on your character, either cash or items, and you will get the challenge completed. So hopefully this helps you guys out and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.